Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing part 3 and probably the finale of checking out all of my custom objects. So without further ado guys, let's just get straight to where we left off. So let's open up the menu and see where we actually left off. I believe we just finished off on, uh, I think it was one of the first ever modded objects. I know we need to start on the Valentine's objects if I remember correctly. So let's go ahead and open up the menu. We're in update 27 now so everything's looking a little different. Right, so let's just go all the way to the customs here. Right, let's uh, wait for them to load. So let's go all the way down here. I know roughly where we need to start. So it was somewhere. Uh, let's see a little further down. No. Come on, load. I need to see the pictures, damn it. Come on. Right, there you go. There's so many to load. I mean, <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right. So we were around here. So we finished off with Utura B, S1. And now we're starting off with the Valentine's objects. And then we're going into the banded stuff. So... Right, where should we actually even place this? I mean, there's a lot of stuff to do. Um, let's just go over here. Right, so Valentine's object here. I think this was an object I actually made for that competition. I tried putting it down as a non anonymous user, but it was actually me who made this object for the competition. So I've still got a copy of that. Uh, that one does seem like it's a little broken, the Valentine's one. I think that was the one I sent to the competition. Um, and we have Valentine's two. I think I made a few different templates for it. I think some of these are actually your guys's as well. So we see three, four. Yeah, these were your guys's. Uh, one of them had a ring as well. That was to go with Siren's Gas Giant, which was this one. So let's place that in there, wherever its ring is. Uh, we've got seven. And then we have uh, this object here. I don't think that was a Valentine's one. Okay, so yeah, here we are. So just to line up all the Valentine's objects. So one of them was a Mars. We've got all these other ones. Nintendo's uh, one here. They've got this Venus, this Valentine's colored Venus. Uh, Venus is the uh, goddess of uh, love, after all, so... Yeah, or peace and love and stuff, so Venus. Uh, we have this one here as well. And then we had Siren's uh, really, really cool looking gas giant with its uh, ring it came with as well, which is looking really cool. That weird ring object. So let's just put that in there. Okay, cool. Right, so next up we have got, uh, we placed this one in as well. Uh, that was just a, I'm not sure what this object's from actually. I think this is from one of Siren's systems as well, actually. It's quite a cool negative contrast object, as we can see there. It does look really, really weird. So there is that. Okay, right, next up we have got Venus New. That's the original copy of my custom Venus there, so we've already seen that object loads of times. Volcanic Winter Earth. We've got the Wally Earth, the Wally Earth 2. Okay, so that's from the movie Wally. Uh, so there we go, got the Earth from there. And we got a Volcanic Winter version of Earth as well, looking really cool. So there we go. Right, next up we have got, oh, okay, Wasp 12B, so a larger gas giant there. We've got Wasp 17B to go with it as well. So there's that one. And we've also got uh, some more Wasp objects here, so we'll go ahead and place those guys in here as well. So there are those. Then we've got Westeros. This was available in a really old simulation. Uh, it doesn't seem like it functions like it used to anymore, such a shame. Uh, we have Westeros 2. Again, not functioning how it used to. What even is this? 3, 4... Five and there's a green one as well, right? So, so these objects are all probably bugged like crazy now. So okay, that one does look really, really cool. And then we have the original save that is completely broken now, which is a real shame. So there we go. let's just have a look at these crazy objects. So this one does look pretty interesting as well. So what even is this for? Number three. Uh, this gold one looks pretty cool. Uh, then we have the green one. I think is probably the best looking out of all those. I mean, that is what is going on under there. Let's have a little look. Uh, underneath the clouds and stuff. So that's what it looks like underneath. So it's completely broken. <laughs> that is just... Wow. Right, but it does have quite a cool appearance. Then we've got number two over here. Again, that looks like it's completely bust. And then the original was just a gas giant now, which is a real shame because that was a really, really cool object. Uh, next up, we've got this object here, Wise. So let's go ahead and place that in there. I mean, what even is this should look like this object here? But it looks like it's a uh, change now. Uh, so there's that one. Right, next up we got got uh, Zikaro here, which is a massive uh, gas giant thing. Uh, let's place that in. Uh, this object, I believe, is also not even supposed to be a gas giant. I believe this is meant to be a rocky planet, actually, so let's just make it smaller. And then I should have a nice blue atmosphere. There you go. So lower the mass. That's what it should have liked. We used that in a recent simulation, actually. Uh, then we have all the band. Okay, so now we're going to get onto the banded stuff. So that pretty much will take us to the end of the planet. So what I'll do is I'll quickly uh, we'll, we'll spawn these in at the back over here, because there is quite a lot of them. And we'll just put them, we'll put them all in order. So, uh, we've got one. So, let's, yep, go. Okay, so we've got one. Then we've got two. Let's just place them all in there. There we go. So, I just named them all for categorization. So, I think I placed number one in twice. 
So yeah, these are all saved from your guys' simulations over the years that I've picked up and just added to this collection here. So we have quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of objects here. So we've got one, two, uh, three. Uh, where's four? Four? Where's four? Uh, four. I'm blind. Uh, there's number four. Then we have five over here. That's one of the Christmas ones. Hang on, did I place the same one in again? Four and oh, the three and four are the same save. Okay, that's rather weird. Let's just go and delete one of those. So it's like I made a categorization error there. So this is one of the Christmas uh, banded objects we used quite a while back. Oh, there's the uh, quasi gas over there. Forgot that was at the back of the simulation. Uh, uh, five. Uh, then we have six. So we got six, seven. So yeah, these, some of these are from way, way, way back now. It's good to see they still function. We've got the lime green gas giant band. First ever modded gas giants there. So they're a they're classic. Uh, nine. Okay, so there's all of the up to nine. So now we go ten. Up here again. So about ten. Actually, I'll just place ten um, for ten, eleven as well. So we'll just we'll just spam place place something really fast, and we'll look through them more in more detail. Then we've got fifteen. That one's another one of the uh, lime green gas giants. One of the first ever ones. So there we go. Seventeen, eighteen, and then nineteen. Then we go to twenty. We just keep repeating. We've got a huge line of all these banded gas giants. Another one of the Christmas ones there, number 22. 23, another one of the lime green ones, one of the really, really old ones. So the oldest, probably one of the oldest gas giants, or the oldest modded gas giant in here are those green ones. So 28, then we have 29. That was quite large. So we've got 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. There's just, there's just infinite amounts of these. I think one thing I'll have to do is make a size comparison. Would you guys want to see a size comparison of all of my objects in this custom menu? What would you think of that? I mean, I think that would be an absolutely crazy size size comparison. But what would you guys think of that? I'll probably just do the planets. I won't put all of like the human objects in there, but it'll be all the planets. Yeah, what would you guys think of the size comparison of all of these things? I mean, that would be um, really insane. So it could be quite good. Uh, let's just place them all in there. I think I may have played the same, put the same one in uh, one or twice, but... Yeah, there we go. Look at all these. This is crazy. So we've got 50. We're almost at the end now. 51, 52, 53. There we go. Right, so all 53 of the banded collection. So let's have a zoom, closer look at all of these guys. So we'll just go into like manual camera mode. Just have a look at all of these. I mean, they look great. Look, look at, I mean, look at these. I mean, they're absolutely crazy. What has happened to banded 15? That one didn't... That one used to look a lot different. It looks like the game's changed the way that one works. But, I mean, just look at all these. These are absolutely crazy, crazy banded. Every single one of these. So there's a good uh, lineup of them. Well, there's some banded more than others. But they got some really, really nice looking ones in here. Just a huge mix of different stuff. Just like that one. So, no, I can place that one in again. This one here is a cool one. Made by Mr. Miss Lot, if I remember correctly. That was a good one. Got a nice uh, blue one here as well. But, yeah, these are all made by you guys. Every single one of these. I didn't make a single one of these. So... Yeah, really nice collection I've sort of collected there from all of your guys' work. So look at that. Looking good. Okay, so there's the banded collection. That is a huge collection. Let's go ahead and save the simulation. Um, so we get that all saved in there. Thank you. Right, good, good. So that saved. Come on, game. A little quicker, please. Right, next up we have the glowing stuff. So these are the last of the planets now. So we've, we've used these in a few recent simulations. We've got glowing 2. So Valentine's one there. Glowing 3. Glow in four, five, and then the original glow in over here. Oh, and I do not want to delete anything. No, no, no. Right, then we have that one. Then we have a rainbow one as well. So that's all that is all about. Okay, so that's all of the planets. So here is rainbow. That's obviously, that's just a really, really old copy of one that was modded. Then we got the glowing objects, and they're just very, very highly reflective, and they look really, really cool. So there's that one. I, I do like the blue and the uh, orange one. That's one of my favorites. Glow in three. This one's not so good looking as the other ones. Then we have glow in three here as well. Got two names. Oh, no, we're going five, sorry, not three. So we've got that one as well. Right, cool. So there's all of those guys. Right, now on to the last sort of stuff. Um, we'll move on to the stars next. So these are all just basically custom variants of stars that exist out there um, that are not added to the game. So we'll just go ahead and place all the stars over here. So you've seen these in the size comparisons before. So we've got this one here. But yeah, we'll go ahead and just speed uh, speed all these. We've got the old cipher objects. These weren't, uh, these aren't real stars. These were just really really luminous stars those things or zones were huge so that was a 10 trillion luminosity star there then we got eblm that's one of the smallest stars we've got a few red dwarfs to go with it as well so there we go kepler 22 mega r136a1 so that's just a buffed up version of that melnick 34 another star 
and we've got some more of the uh, red hive the giant stars got the pistol star in there the quasi star really cool gold and yellow one i've got there our oh, lipurus that was a carbon star red giant sun as well use that in a uh, size comparisons too i mean these are all for size comparisons i use every year got this one here the yellow hyper giant uh, Stepherson, that was before they added it to the game, so I made a custom variant of that. Tea Garden Star, that's one of the small uh, brown dwarfs. Uh, the, the star called the Car, that's in one of the simulations in the game, that's over there. And we just got a few other, a few other stars as well. So Westerland, that's one of the other hyper giants. But yeah, there we go. So there's a nice uh, list of stars there as well. So pretty simple. There's no uh, unique abilities to any of those stars. They're not modded or anything. You just can't mod stars. So there's all of those. Okay. Right, so back down here, I will head back to Siren's Ring, actually, as we do have a few more uh, rings. So, oh, I did not want to do that. Right, so zoom all the way back in. So we have the original ring, which is what all of the rings are built from. This is the original ring that I, I gave out to people, and then they modded it. Uh, this was basically just available in the old version of the game. You could find it in a weird Saturn simulation, this object here. It came with a weird Saturn simulation. You save the ring separately, and then you could mod it. And that's what some of the guys did. So I think Mad Planet Guy made this rainbow ring. And I think he's done it with some other textures as well. But yeah, this is all modded off of that original white ring there. And then obviously Siren did it around his uh, gas giant here as well. Just put it, well, you can see this ring is really, really weird with the way it works. I mean, that is, yeah, that is really, really weird. So there's all of those. Okay, and now we just have a few more. So we've got minor solar system objects here. I mean, they're all just, there's nothing really interesting about these. So I can place all those in there. They're all just little asteroids. So... I can't even remember what some of these are for, but yeah, they're all just they're small in there. Uh, what's this Earth's continents thing? Uh, this was something that was given to me a while back, so that still works. Gen 4, that's a star texture, I believe, on a planet. Uh, glitch, that does look like a... What is even going on with that? That looks very strange indeed. Uh, then we've got the Great Pyramids. I do not want to delete anything, thank you. So let's place the pyramids in. So there we go, the, that's the Rainbow Pyramid. <laughs> Halley's Comet. Hyperion, the one of Saturn's moon, got Ida, that's an asteroid, uh, the Mr. Spock asteroid, uh, the OK object, some weird dice, that's the, oh yeah, the, the rainbow dice, then we've got the ring again, and then we also have the black holes at the very end of the list, these are huge, I'm just going to ahead and place those over here, so there they all are there, oh god, that one is massive, wow, okay, that does look really cool on the background as well, some of these are glitched as well, but they're all in there. Oh, then we have the Jack-O-Lantern from that Halloween special in, like, 2017. Still got the Killer Jack. <laughs> there we go. We've got the Killer Pool Ball as well. And then lastly, we have another Black Hole as well. So there we go. That is all of the objects placed. And obviously, these ones at the bottom aren't very interesting. That's why you never see me use them. But they are saved there. Yeah, Jack-O-Lantern, Killer Jack. He is from way, way, way back now. Still got That's still the original save of him as well. So there we go there. But other than that... That is my entire object collection, guys. So what do you think of that? And yeah, should we do a size comparison video of all of these? Because that could be pretty could be pretty interesting. So yeah, let me know your thoughts uh, down below on that. Amen. Yeah, these are huge, these black holes. So let's just get that out of the way. There you go. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think of that uh, down below in the uh, comments, guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, looking through my custom objects. It's nice to get some of them out of the toy box again. Because yeah, they, some of them haven't been used um, for absolutely years uh, at this point so it's good to, yeah good to good to bring them out again so where are we here so head all the way back down here to the main uh, line of stuff so yeah that is all of my custom objects i mean that is a huge amount of stuff as well looks like the black holes are starting to uh cause some weird glitches because that is a massive black hole there so i mean look at this what is going on that is <laughs> look at all the bending stuff that is awesome so yeah guys hopefully you all enjoyed it if you did let's see if we can go for 50 likes on today's video guys and yeah let me know should i do that size comparison video uh, for all of these guys but with that all said and done make sure to subscribe if you're new help us on journey to 30,000 subscribers guys and yeah make sure you have a great day stay safe out there and i'll see you in the next video goodbye